A traffic stop in West Haven turning into a police chase all the way into New Haven. The driver taking off on foot after crashing into another car. News 8's Mario Boone joins us live from News 8 Control. Mario, any word on the victim's condition tonight? Well, I just got off the phone about 15 minutes ago with the woman the suspects crashed into, and she was able to talk, but she's still in the ICU getting checked out tonight. Not even the lingering Christmas spirit was enough to stop a carload of young men Tuesday afternoon trying to outrun the cops. But it didn't end well for the two adults and one teen in this mangled Honda Civic. The chase began with an attempted traffic stop in West Haven. Cops there say the trio sped away down Grasso Boulevard, crossing into New Haven, then slammed into a 71-year-old woman driving this Volvo. It makes sense that there would be a police chase because the officers were on scene right after I, we heard the crash. Investigators tell us the driver of the escaping Civic, 21-year-old Christopher Vallot, jumped out and took off on foot. There was a gentleman with white jeans that ran by right after the crash and it looked like he was running from something. The impact of the wreck was so powerful it sent the innocent woman careening atop a nearby guardrail. It shook up Sean O'Hare at work right across the street. It sounded like somebody dropped something, like a lart, like something fell off the back of a truck. The Volvo's driver was rushed to the ER with serious injuries. Velot's two buddies from his car were taken away with minor injuries. A lot of drama for what should have been a routine day at the office for O'Hare. It's tough. It's during the holidays. You know, nobody wants to be hurt. It's just everyone needs to be safe. Now, state police have taken over this investigation. We're told the initial chase probe, that will be handled by West Haven. And so far, no charges have been announced. We're live tonight from News 8 Control. I'm Mario Boone, News 8.